What's up, world? Shemaine Man, Rashad, Book Top, Nils. And I'm super thankful that the good Lord decided to wake me up. I'm also thankful to have another opportunity to bring you happy hour. Now the happy hour message for this week is, what's the difference? I began to ask this question, what's the difference between people that are ultra successful and people that are not successful? Well, maybe it has something to do with the deoxyribor nucleic acid. That's a mouthful, but that's DNA. And I began to do some research on DNA and I found the most interesting fact of all, that 99% of your DNA is shared with every other human. So I said, why are some people great and some people not? And I began to look at this perspective from athletes. I began to examine some of the greatest athletes on the planet like Kobe Bryant with five NBA titles, Tiger Woods with 14 majors, Usain Bolt, the fastest man on planet Earth, and I am the greatest himself, Mr. Muhammad Ali. How about Tom Brady, drafted in the sixth round, but now has five Super Bowl wins, and Michael Phelps, who has completely dominated and transformed the way that we view Olympic swimming, and arguably the greatest basketball player of all times, Michael Jordan, and they all have one thing in common their will and the ability to succeed. So I just want to encourage somebody on this Friday morning to understand the importance and the significance of that 1% difference. We know that everybody has the same DNA and what separates the great ones from the good ones or even the average ones, it's that 1%. That 1% is determination. That 1% is the ability to fight through trials and tribulations in your life. That 1% is the ability to go the extra mile. That 1% is believing in yourself despite the odds against you. So ladies and gentlemen, understand this. When you look at other successful people, know that you have the same makeup as them internally, your DNA, but you have to focus on that 1% difference. What's the difference from being good, great, or even average, my friends? So as always, I need a favor, and I don't want you to forget that message, and I certainly don't want you to forget the bow tie. Today I just went with a almost a fuchsia, is that the right color? Bow tie mixed it up with some kind of designs, paired it with a white shirt, it looks good on me, and I am 